most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living in return with having. When we do this, we must consider what our future will be and what it will be today is not what it will be tomorrow. What we know about young people is that they only often live in the moment. They're focused on the second they go to their job. They're focused on everything they're doing. They're focused on being superior so that someone who's a guest in the store might say, Hey, you're really sharp. I want to take you out of here to a better job. Now, how many people actually think about that? When we have young people going into the food industry, we have to ask ourselves two questions. Who is hiring them and why? They might be young people with a lot of potential, but that also means that they can be psychologically and emotionally mistrained. A psychological and emotional mistrainer is often a white person who is of an impoverishment thinking. The impoverishment thinker is, I'll be good today and I'll be bad tomorrow. I'll be okay today and I'll be not okay tomorrow. The constant emotionalism of a child is not left to a proper trainer. What we have to do is prepare all children, regardless of the jobs they first begin in, for the working world. And we do that through proper training. Proper training is saying today is the first day of the rest of your business life. Your business life and your career is what pays for your life. Your behavior on this job provides you the opportunity to go on to another job after three, four years. Most companies expect an employee to stick it out, to learn a job, to become an expert over the course of time. If you're not really prepared to work in this way, in this attitude, in this performance of you working for our company's good, then you don't need to come to work today. But it will not entitle you to a unemployment check at all. An unemployment check office is used for people who are really struggling to find work. It may be because they don't have enough information on how to work. It may be because they have ruined their reputation at other work. It may be because there are lies on them online through cybercrime. There's a lot of reasons that people don't have a chance to work. We also have a completely, total retarded system of hiring people in which we're entrusting online programs and total strangers with our lives at work. It's the most dumb thing I've ever seen. At the same time, we have social media networks abusing telecommunication laws saying, you can meet that person, but you can't meet that person. And you can know that person, but we don't want you to know this person. And we know you don't want to talk to that person. We know you don't want to connect with that person, but we're going to reconnect you to that person. And we know you've got files out here, but we're going to delete them or allow other people in your network or other people who have stolen your passwords to delete them. Now, we've got a problem already. Because the truth is, people meet people every single day. And I've made a promise that I'm going to talk to some boss over a woman who just either lost her job or quit at a dollar store where she worked. Now, she might have lost her job for shit she did a long time ago, and they just got caught for it, despite the fact that she improved herself, despite the fact that she started to be herself, despite the fact that her whole life had shifted into a more happy life. But the reality is that every employee does get a little bit of leeway when they screw up, but they don't get a lot of leeway if they're producing a lie, that they are in control of their customers, or they are in control of their computers, or they are in control of their cell phones, or they are in control of something that they have absolutely no lawful right to do. Children of food networks, children in restaurants must be absolutely schooled in the laws of food. Stupid people know the laws of food, but they still think that they're above the law. They still think that they can provide somebody old food and be okay with it. Old food causes major headaches when it's beef. Old food causes miscoloration of poop. Old food is provable under the law with any scientific fact when someone says, I don't like that of what you're doing to my food. I don't like the fact that I'm paying hard-earned dollars for food that's coming out your window cold. I don't like the fact that I'm paying hard-earned dollars for you to fuck around and pretend like you're making food for me, but you're actually making food for you, and you're taking food out of your trash and giving it to me. You see, we have to pay attention to how people are mentally. If they're mentally sharp, they're willing to learn. If they're mentally prepared for their job world, they're ready to earn. If you make it clear that what they're doing is earning the first step on their lifetime career, then they have a different attitude when they come to work. If you clarify who their trainer is and say, we're going to train you on this item only today. Tomorrow we're going to train you on that thing tomorrow. 
And if you keep a discipline despite your lack of staffing, then you'll have a good employee for a long time. But when you fuck it up and just throw them at someone, they train them, then you end up with a mess and you end up with constant retention problems and constant attrition.